to another lesson from the from CML Master, and today we're going to do a, a very short one. But even though it looks so, it's very funny because it looks easy, but then it sounds hard. But then it's actually much easier once you understand it. So I found that very interesting. So I chose this one for today. Um. And if you want to try and do this before I actually do it, you can um, copy this. Well, you could just um, screenshot this and then go to your computer and then do the things I'll say in the description of what to do. So you could type it up by yourself and do it before you do this. So you could try to do it before I tell you how this works because it's very fun in my opinion if six donuts cost k dollars then 10 donuts will cost blank dollars so i used k as blank because then if you haven't learned algebra it's okay but like in algebra if you if a letter is just a meaning of blank so I just use K for this video so um and then we have our choices it's 12 K well I'll just write it out cuz then it, um I wasn't able to type it properly on the computer so then there's just 2 K and then there's 13 K over 10 and then there's 5k over 3 and then there's 13k over 6 so first it for most people i believe it sound really confusing but if you just think of this as blank and so this might be the confusing part, but if you have six donuts, then how many would 10 donuts cost? You should, I like to write it out as a fraction and I write it out as a fraction by putting 10 on top and six on bottom because you don't know how many, um, how 10 fit into six. So I just like writing it out like this. So then it's equal to, since it can be both divided by two, I put three and five. And then I put K on top, on the top one. And then um, I, the reason I do this is because you're trying to find out how many, like how 10 fits into six, but the funny thing is, you don't really need to do that much math after that. You just need to convert it into this. And then really, um, and then once you put the K next to it, it's kind of obvious. This is the exact same as this. So in other words, it's more like, I'll write it down here. It's more like one and two thirds K. So if K was a dollar, it'd be one dollar. Well, you, you wouldn't be able to do this cause you can't divide a hundred divided by three, but then closest would be about 66. Um, but that won't be the exact correction cause you can't divide 100 with 3 so then you automatically know since it's the same you circle your D and write 5 K over 3 I won't say 5k dollars because technically this isn't a dollar so I just call it 5K or like blank K because I don't want to 
see dollars to confuse you guys because then it'd be a whole number but like it's not a whole number so there you have it it's how to do this question i found this very interesting and even though i said this before the reason i find this interesting is it's it's funny how once he start doing it, even though I said it was going to be easy, it's kind of hard. But once you get like, once you put down the first numbers, all you need to do is convert it into another fraction. And then you have your answer. So, but for most people, when you first do this, you won't understand it. But if you try thinking harder, you'll eventually get it. So, I would let you, you guys, um, you could come up with your own reasons. But, there, the real reason is, like, you really want to do it, um, the way I did it. To solve it but if you have any other ways you can try them out and um play around with this question like instead of doing six donuts cost k you could do like um, five donuts cost half k and then and then 13 donuts would cost blank dollars and stuff like that you could play around with this i did it a little bit too and it was really fun for me so if you really like listening to the video and trying um and later on when you try this out if you really liked it make sure to press the like button and smash the subscribe button and to check out more of my youtube channels and make sure to go to my channels to watch my other videos because i think if you like this video you really like my other videos because they're very similar to this one except they're like different questions like all sorts of different questions thank you